Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Where is Brittany? I'm Brittany and I'm physically coming to you from North Carolina, but in this video, I'm gonna tell you where I am mentally and spiritually while packing up the campground. Our time in Virginia area has come to an end and now it's time to make our way to Florida. Now that some time has passed and I've been able to process my trip to Guam, I guess it's time to answer the most asked question related to that trip. Why did I go to Guam? The short answer is that I was going to see an ex, an old friend. That's the short answer. But I know you're here for more than that, so here goes. My trip to Guam did not go as planned. Although this man claimed to have nothing but pure intentions, a lie that was brought to light by many signs changed the entire course of my trip. Initially, I planned to explore the island more, go fishing, do water sports, like really dive in. I'd have a plus one to not only hang with, but also be my tour guide with transportation, of course. However, when things went left, I was left alone by myself over 8,000 miles away from Jada and my home. And since Jaden's passing, that was my fur baby before Jada, this was the only time I've traveled alone. And during this time, I was met with so many emotions, anger, embarrassment, sadness, freedom, joy, happy, and in the end, I was proud. And although my trip to Guam did not go as intended, I learned so much about myself and that's what I'm going to focus on and share with you all in this video. While in Guam, I spent most of those 17 days alone to myself with my thoughts music in my ear and my journal in my hand. Writing out things I've never felt strong enough to say out loud. But all of this changed after watching a four minute video about getting messy. And so the Lord, he spoke to me, he said, sometimes it get messy before it get clean. And so lately the Lord has been um, presenting so many opportunities for me to choose my will or to choose his will in regards to messy in my life and one situation that recently happened was seeking understanding and um, being open to have a conversation versus just cutting something off which I feel like is really easy in life in the culture you know everybody protecting their peace because sometimes you just don't know how to deal with it when I tell you God will meet you exactly where you're at to get a message to you and this message was right on time I've always took pride in not being one to argue, yell, and also being an expert cutter-offer. But I know now that's the part of me that needed to change. By me always choosing to walk away or taking the easy way out, I lost my voice along the way. I stopped speaking up for myself. I'd recognize things, but let them go because it was easier to keep the peace. But in the end, I've realized I'm really hurting myself by keeping it clean. At 35, I see how this way of communicating or lack thereof has affected many relationships. This healing journey can be a little rough sometimes, but as you grow, you also realize that you're in fact a part of the problem. And I am mature enough to own up to that. Thank you. Thank you. It's uh, 19, 19 feet. That's, that's like the good size for me. It's not too, too long. Right. It's scary. <laughs> While in Guam, I asked for signs because I needed confirmation on a few things. This might seem odd or weird to some, but 
Since changing my lifestyle while being out in nature more, I feel my connection to the universe is amplified. I don't know. I feel like my intuition has went into overdrive and I've been able to sense when things aren't right. And if I don't physically see the danger or red flags for myself, a sign will surely appear to try and guide me out of the situation. Ask and ye shall receive. While building out Domino, ladybugs would appear when things got stressful. When tears flowed, ladybugs. When I got frustrated, ladybugs. When things didn't go as planned, ladybugs. And for some reason, when they would appear, they would bring me peace. And when I finally looked up the spiritual meaning of ladybugs, I found out they stood for protection, healing, good fortune, and grace. And that's why Domino as a ladybug is one of my favorite designs. Now back to Guam. Not only was I constantly surrounded by black butterflies, a symbol for renewal, change, and transformation, but I literally asked for a very specific sign and I was met with it almost instantly. While laying in bed, listening to music, I asked if I needed to get messy and ask more questions about this lie. If this was the path I needed to take, please have the next song be by Ari Lennox. And sure enough, a song called Boy Bye, and I'm telling you, this song was so head on, played literally for the next song. I got out of bed, started laughing and pacing around the room. So I pried. I asked the difficult questions and in the end got the answers and found out this man was damn near a professional liar. But my intuition, my gut feelings, and the universe wasn't going to have me out here in these streets looking foolish longer than what was needed in order to get me to learn my lesson. So I want to say I don't believe I was supposed to go to Guam. But I think that would be false. I look at things in life like everything happens for a reason. Things have to happen in order for me to learn, progress in life, and to be the better version of myself. Like, in the past, I suffered from a really bad gambling addiction. And although I struggled for those couple of years, I'm a better version of myself because of it. I now know how to manage my money, I found a true sense of freedom, and most importantly, I learned that while I was chasing the money, it was moving further and further away from me because I wasn't in a place mentally to receive it if it came my way. I had to struggle a bit and reprogram my way of thinking in order to be able to receive the blessings and manage the opportunities that were going to eventually come my way. So, going to Guam, although it was messy at one point, I learned so much about myself and I am grateful in the end because of it. And along with speaking up for myself, I'm learning to set boundaries in all areas in my life, especially social media. Because I share parts of my life online, some people feel they deserve all of me 365, 24-7. And that is an unreal expectation that they need to let go. It's just me. <laughs> I'm one person filming, editing, coming up with video ideas, coordinating collaborations and partnerships with companies. And most importantly, I'm trying to navigate life. <laughs> and as I said, I'm learning. So this half hood, half holy, that means pray with me don't play with me sweatshirt is really where I'm at in life I'm on my healing and continued self-discovery journey learning to speak up for myself while attempting to set healthy boundaries and sometimes I might match the same energy that's being presented to me like the negative Nancy's in my comments and DMs what can I say I'm still a work in progress, but I'm 
only able to say all of this because of that bittersweet trip to Guam. Jada Baby and I are about to make our way to Florida. There's a few things I need to take care of at home. So we will see you next time. Thank you all so much for tuning in to find out where is Brittany. Love you all. Bye.